Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Today is your session scheduled Eden run. So let's see what we get today. That's not Mega Blast. Disappointed. Here's the seed though. Says I got good damage, I have a good fire rate. And I have the Lost Fly, which is kind of fun. If anything actually gets hit by it, it does a ton of damage. Uh, it just goes down when you enter a room and attaches to the nearest wall or obstacle that it can. And we'll go around it. Forever. Uh, it does a lot of damage, though. Okay. So, this is not worth it. By the end of the run, I can nearly guarantee you that all that would end up being would be a damage down for no good reason and a small speed up. But I'm going to get speed up and I'm going to get tears up by the end of the run. Uh, it sets your tiers high, but then it gives you a 0.9 damage multiplier and multiplies your, or, sorry, subtracts 0.4 from your damage as well. It ends up not worth it. Okay, there's my bomb. I also have a use item that I probably won't end up using at all. Blood Rites. Uh, does damage to all the enemies in the room at the cost of health. If I have invincibility, like real invincibility, I can use it, I can spam it without getting hit. And if I have Isaac's heart, I can spam it forever, indefinitely. And that's the only value in Isaac's heart, basically. So I, I won't... Maybe I'll take Isaac's heart, since that really just means spam blood rights and you'll be fine. Uh, probably nothing will be able to catch up to me to make me regret it. So I didn't get a soul heart there. I'm going to finish this floor real quick. See if perhaps, maybe, perhaps, perhaps I get a uh, soul heart somewhere else. Probably won't. Even if I get like a key to open that chest though, that could be fun, right? Then again, that could also just not ever happen. Ouch. Of course that's actually going to give me bombs. Why wouldn't it? Uh, that is, of course, my own fault. So let's see, that wouldn't help me. Nothing will help me. Okay. Well, it's my own fault for not having faith. Could have gotten that other tinted rock. Could have given me a soul heart. Well, he's dead. Yeah. That's why I always tell people, just believe. It's the best RNG manipulation out there. This shouldn't count against my devil room. But screw doing that room the slow way. This one too. Boom. Dunzo. Sadly, I could do it for the... Okay, I don't need to do it for this room. It's an easy room. And I can get a red heart back. I'm living a good life right now. Oop, gotta squeeze through that. I don't have any keys yet. And I don't think that key... Yeah, that key's not accessible. That is, though. Alright, cool. What do you got for me? Scatter bombs. Five more bombs, and now my bombs will spawn three or four other bombs that are small. Do less damage, but are still useful. Wow, really? That pushed me? I lost that pushing battle? It's gonna be Bob's brain. Oh, even worse. Alright, none of these are pushable. Cool. Uh, so anyway, Able mirrors my movement, but always shoots towards me. It's pretty bad. Uh, and the fact that it always shoots towards me means I'm going to get a lot of tears coming my way that I'm going to think are enemy tears. It's going to be confusing, and I'm going to dodge them, and I'm going to get hit because of it. It's going to suck. That's why I don't take Able. So, it's fine. Okay, what do you got? 
All right, pills that I'm not going to use, most likely. Betrayal, one of my least favorite items in the entire game. What are you? All right, it's pretty fly, so it was worth it. Uh, I hate betrayal. Basically, whenever I get hit, there's going to be a long animation that plays. I should check out the boss challenge room before leaving. Uh, and every enemy in the room will become charmed. That part's good. But, uh... No. No. <laughs> it's not worth the animation. It's really annoying. I guess I'll just have to not get hit. Ugh. All right. To your left. Curse of Loss is better than Curse of the Blind. I can't slow them down enough to get them hit by the fly. What a sad life. Ow. Always forget to wait out the scatter bombs. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Alright, that dude screwed, as I thought. That dude screwed as well. You really don't have to take that room that quickly, by the way. I just do because I'm impatient with that room or something. Okay, so smart thing to do in this room is, you know, actually use the black poops like, you know, someone that wants to not have to fight the annoying enemies. Because those do like 10 damage to every enemy in the room, which makes them as strong as uh, an, activative, an activation of the spider butt. So what's not to love? Dang. This guy's never getting hit by the freaking fly. So I also purchased Horror of Babylon in that last devil room. If I can use it, I will. If I get down to half a red heart, or no red hearts, any number of soul hearts and black hearts on top of it, I gain 1.5 damage and 0.3 speed. It's pretty good. So, like I said, if I can use it, I will. Just kind of don't expect to. Oops. Really? I couldn't kill you in time. That's the only reason I made that challenge. And I killed that one, like, way faster. What's up with that? Alright, range up. Uh, I haven't been to the item room yet, so I better go find that real quick. That's not the item room. It's a different room that requires a key. Try again. Okay, so puzzle room, puzzle room. Maybe puzzle isn't quite the right word, of course, but... Button room. Eventually, the item room will show its face. Alright, that's not too bad. This is too bad. Screw it. Was that worth it? Probably not. But it's fine. Oh wow, I tried to dodge into that tier, basically. It's fine, I failed. But... Still put in a really, really good, good effort. Okay. No thanks. Curse of the Lost, of course, beyond making it so that I can't see the map, will make it so that I uh, have four extra rooms on the floor. Makes it that much harder to find stuff in the early game. But that is technically an advantage. You're playing it patiently. Good one. I am running awfully low on health. Which isn't how I want to live my life. I want to live my life full of health. Hmm. 
Okay. I have a lot of keys on the plus side. All right, definitely reroll. All right, fine, I'll use bombs. I should really use the forget me now. Which is okay because I can do this. Oh man, golden teleporter. Teleport 2.0, of course. Dang. I guess I'll take it so it doesn't show up in the double room and I will redo this floor. Because dang, man, I am not doing too well. It sucks that I lose the thing that I was able to use to just, you know, kill everything. But at the same time, I kind of really need another floor at this point because I'm in bad shape. And this time I got no curse, which is pretty nice. So there is that. It sucks when the machine breaks. Uh, by the way, the reroll machine. By the way, uh, Headless Baby tracks her blood on the ground and does like no damage to enemies that walk over it. It's useless. But it's what I got. I got it for free. It is a part of the conjoined transformation, I do believe. Which makes it that much less appealing. Conjoined, of course, being 0.3 damage and 0.3 tears down. Both down. So, I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't know if Abel is. I hope not. Of course, conjoined isn't just the damage and tears down. It's when you get three tears that you shoot. Uh, well, you get two additional tears that shoot diagonally, kind of like the Wiz. So they basically never hit anything. But, you know, that's supposed to be worth the stats down. But that's why I kind of tend to avoid familiars now. Because I don't want to get conjoined. Oh, well. So these guys apparently only shoot when they're diagonal to you. And they have really sick jukes as they try to get a diagonal angle. Let's see what's in the double key room. I will reroll my build if I have to. Two is not useful. D6, sorry, D20 for the room. So if I'm feeling really, really creative, I uh, pick up a ton of stuff, and I guess I may as well have this uh, trinket. And I pick up a bunch of stuff and go drop it in there. We roll as much of it as I can after the floor is done. But it's not really that worth it. So this trinket makes it so that my bombs track uh, poison stuff on the ground behind them. Thought that might have been the pretty fly. So I have full orbitals now, which is nice. This is the chance I shoot a slowing tier. And that is an item I wouldn't fight for, because it's not worth it. And we found our boss. Still getting lots of keys. Chubb. Chubb took a bunch of damage because of this dude. Dang, I was really, really trying to... Uh, Get the fly in there. And honestly, it worked pretty well. Got a good amount of damage from it. Alright, fantastic item. And just to avoid that item, I am going to risk my life. Uh, I don't want Placenta because it means that I can't, if I have red hearts, keep my Horror of Babylon active or Polaroid Invincibility because it's just going to heal me for half a heart. Half a red heart. Uh, kind of whenever it feels like it. This room worries me immensely. But Sack Dagger does 15 damage on hit and hits extremely frequently. So it is an incredibly good item. Oh man. I shouldn't play like that when I have only one heart and these guys do a full heart of damage. But dang it, I can't help it.
At least I have full orbitals. And that damage up will help a lot. Getting my kill times down. Because I still have pretty good damage. It's just since I spawned with high damage. I'm not in too bad a shape. Slipped through my orbitals. Couldn't have picked a worse time. Wow. Couldn't have been a shot. No. Definitely not. Oh wow. Gave me a black heart though, so I guess I can't be too mad. Hollow's pretty easy. Alright, here's the strat. Wow, he didn't wanna he didn't wanna go anywhere other than the wall he's on. Alright, buddy. Range up. Got the mom transformation goat head. Guarantees every devil or angel room shows up and stays open for me. So mom transformation means I track a knife behind me. It's generally not very useful, but if I have a chasing enemy, it'll be not useless. Nice luck up. I was hoping that I would avoid that eternal heart. That's unfortunate, because I really didn't want it. It means I get a health up if I get another eternal heart, or if I get a um, get it to the next floor. I can't do anything to get rid of it, though. Lump of Coal increases the size and damage of my tiers based on the distance they've traveled, by the way. It's good. Just gotta find the item room, and every single room left is a large room. That's fortunate. Oh, I hate this room. Oh, nice. Gotta love my fly buddy, though. I could get a magic mushroom. Why not? Oops. Thank you for the key. No, thank you. Whole boss challenge room just uh, for a regular old chest. I don't have any bombs left, sadly. And then, of course, Abel shot that bomb away from the tinted rock that I was going to get for free. And I just wasn't as angled to get it back. Tough life, man. Tough life. So I'm at one heart again. Always nice. Gotcha. A little chubby. Charges out at enemies. Does pretty good damage. Uh, pretty much as long as it's in an enemy, it's dealing very consistent high damage. And then we fought Greed, which wasn't really very worth anything. It's fine, I'll open it. Head of the Keeper turns my tears into coins. If those coins hit enemies, they uh, have a chance to drop a penny. That penny is never lucky. And is always a penny. Alright, so we're out of here. We'll have health next floor, but we won't have Horror of Babylon active because of it. And we will not uh, have Krampus anymore, because we already fought him. So that's nice. Really? I really didn't move in time? It's also really weird when enemies like that attack each other. It makes it really hard to dodge in a room like that. Wow. It's a ton of money. So I play this room slowly... Jeez, I could probably wait and do nothing and it would be easier. I was like, look, this thing kills everything for me. I don't have any bombs anyway, but I don't think that room would have been worth it. I'm pretty worried that I'm going to just end up dead, walk into spikes or something.
Nope. Alright, that knife did good work there. Uh, it can't kill me is what I had in my head there. And that's true, it couldn't kill me. There are just two, right? Nope, there are three. Oh no, that thing's alive. I just was very focused on where I was. So this is minus two fire rate delay. Probably the best trinket in the game. Very good pickup. Very much something I need right now. And the beginning of my conquest of fire rate, thus making the um, thin odd mushroom not worth it. After all, like I said, it wouldn't be. stuff. I'm gonna leave and re-enter just so this thing doesn't charge at me. Oof, still got had enough time. Well, I actually don't need that item, fortunately. Considering the fact that I can't get to it, uh, not needing it is good. Wow, I'm surprised it wasn't Ultra Greed, or Super Greed. Ultra Greed, man. Ultra Greed in the shop. I'm waiting for the day. So BFFs increases the size and doubles the damage of my familiars. Very good. I don't have any bombs. Dang it, dude. A blank card allows me to use a card or a rune as my active item without expending the card or rune. This is real good. Of course, I need one first. But that comes with time. So, of course, now that the Sacrificial Dagger is doing 30 damage per hit and the Lost Fly is doing however much stupid amounts of damage it's doing... Uh, I'm gonna be killing stuff a lot faster. That's a uh, speed up by 0.6, range and shot height up by a bunch. That is gonna spawn a kamikaze fly for me. Every time that fly dies, it spawns another one. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh man, I'm worried. I'm very worried. Let's see what you've got for me. I wouldn't. Again, these two familiars are going to do a lot of work for me. Have I picked up... Was the... Do I have two syringes? No. No, I don't. I was hoping that the... Freaking... Uh, speedball was this run, but it seems it wasn't. Because then I'd be two-thirds spun. Spun's actually a useful transformation because it's two damage up. A bunch. Blood donation machine. Not something worth using my blank card for. Because even in the chest, uh, a lot of people make this mistake. Uh, it does not spawn an item if you break it like a regular slot machine would. So I got Pyromaniac, which makes me immune to explosions and gives me five bombs. Which is good stuff. Oh my god, so much Curse of the Blind. Mom's key. Two more keys, and chests are now likely to contain a ton of stuff. And that's cool. Like, way more stuff than they normally would. There we go. Alright, I actually took all of the money for once. Recently it's just been breaking after like two. Because it doesn't like me. Which is fair. I did spend a lot more time with the one in greed mode. So I can understand it being a little jealous. Okay. And I don't really care what that is. Pills are generally pretty bad now. Alright. I'm gonna blow these dudes up. Wow, not very lucky. 
I'm just gonna fight the boss now then. So once the foot is stomped, you can run into it. It doesn't deal damage to you. Alright. Definitely a chest run, because I'm not the strongest man. And since I don't know what these are, I can't take them. And I don't have, like, a strength card or something useful like that in order to steal them. So, we'll never know. Maybe one of those was, uh... Maybe one of those was freaking Abaddon. Maybe not. Maybe they both were betrayal. Both of them. Uh. Gotta be careful. Not just run into stuff willy nilly. Must kill you all. I don't know which of that is like mine and which of it is not mine. Really, I ran into that guy. Stupid drift when I stop moving. Acceleration and deceleration and whatnot. Look at a little chubby being such a useful dude. Oh, that's my own fault. I am now one hit from death, of course. God, that, that room's kind of scary when you don't have flight and you're one hit from death. You know, not the life I'm trying to lead. Okay, Tinted Rock, you are not what I was hoping for. Go in first. So that's one damage up. If I get something that modifies my tiers, it's 0.2 tiers up. If I get something that modifies my speed, it's 0.2 speed down. Nope. Not messing with you. We're not playing this game, friends. Devils plus two damage. It's more useful than what I had. Alright, this was uh, pheromones. Great. Alright, so this fight should be really easy. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this last dude. Don't really want to deal with the Freds. I'm just worried about this guy. Because this gave me the layout where you can't uh, just camp him if you have enough range and never be at risk of getting hit. Which, let me tell you, is nice. I wonder if they just fixed that. No, I'm pretty sure I've fought. No, I've fought Mr. Fred in large rooms, in horizontal large rooms. Alright. A range up. Wonderful. I wish I could, but I can't. Not feeling too alive right now. Ugh. This is looking bad. Okay, that room's all about patience. Gotta shoot these poops, because I'm actually in need of some luck on these soul heart drops, man. This is not nice. Okay, those guys being dead. Helpful. That attack just scares me immensely. there. See if there's a build reroll in it for me? No. 
there's a one damage out. Back off. Just real quick. Speed up's good. I'm still alive. I gotta... Don't be homing. Thank you. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. That's just uncool. Ah, uh, great wrong way. Alright, where are you? Ah, removes floor curse, gives me a soul heart. That's four room soul heart generation. We in there. Well, that's cool. Cool. I'm not going to pop it early, no matter what. Ugh. Come on, dude. I believe in, oh god, why? I'm very intimidated by this room. Nah, but I'm fine. It'll be okay now. I'm only scared when they're both initially approaching. No, don't do that. You know how uncool you're being right now? <sighs> the answer is probably no, but it might have been yes. Whatever, I murdered it quickly. All right, everyone here. All right, man. Let's, uh, well, let's first off see if you are any good. The answer's no. Oh, boy. I love potential death at every turn. Oh, hey, Curse of the Blind. Not anymore. That's always a nice touch. You know, nothing can curse me right now. At least not for long. Problem is, of course, that if I die, I can't remove the curse. This is going well. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. Look how good that item is. <sighs> nice. I'm nervous about their spawn locations from the sides, man. <sighs> that was close. Oops, I ran right into that one. But at least I got the kill. That's the plus side. Should be patient with this room because it's easy. Can be patient with the second one. Oh man, I did that to myself. Well, let's, uh, whatever, it's fine. Unless they do that. No, we're fine. Everything's cool. Ugh. Why? Why? Always shooting right at me this time. Okay, good. That was close, actually. That tear was chasing me for a while. All right, one heart. No curse. All right. Oh, okay. Well, we should be able to win now. 
2020 means I shoot two tiers at no reduced fire rate. Tech X means I shoot a circle, a laser circle. Does a bunch of damage. Um, it hits basically as long as the outside circle is touching an enemy. That enemy will be, will be taking damage. It does full damage. So basically I do a boatload of damage right now. This is the moral of the story. And you actually don't want to charge it, because charging it only changes the size of the circle, and the bigger the circle, the less likely you are to be continuously hitting an enemy. So you're better off not charging for once. And that is that. And little Gish shoots uh, slowing tears. He's a nice guy. Of course I went the wrong way. What else would I be doing? It's part of my plot. Always. It's always part of my plot. Go the wrong way. Excuse me. <sighs> How did that one survive? Alright, this will give me the map and the soul harder a card. Well, I was going to take a while to find that. Let me tell you. Monsters too is a good guy, but not the good guy. Look how many of these are L rooms, man. It's crazy. Get some spiders, sure. One to four on use. Those do two and a half times my damage. Pretty solid. There's a second one of these. Sorry, Ragman. You're dead to me. Always have been. Alright, so I can use this now, because I'm done getting more charges. Simply walk away. Leave. I can walk away without leaving, of course. And I can leave without walking away. It's a talent. They might have fixed you being completely invulnerable to tears with uh, full orbitals and BFFs, but I'm not certain. Either way, we made it. Uh, that was definitely a clutch chest uh, outcome, but it worked. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.